project is called、uh, the Lonely Giant. It is made in processing、uh, to celebrate the 30th、uh, anniversary of the launch of the space probe、uh, Voyager 2. So um, right. So the project assumes that um,、uh, a resident, the one and only resident of the planet Uranus,、uh, received the golden record carried、uh, into space by Voyager Two, and he kind of deciphered it. And he is now writing something back about his planet. So first, he needs to make sure that、um, uh, his message is sent to the correct, to the right、uh, recipient. So here, there is a quiz question asking、uh, which planet are we from. So we type in Earth and press Enter. Then we can see this、um, scene. This is the first scene.、Um, in the background, we can see、uh, it's actually three images overlapping each other,、uh, three images of the Uranus. And in the foreground, we can see these flashing little squares. And when you mouse over them,、uh, they will give you a piece of a piece of information about about Uranus. The position of、uh, these squares are random. So,、um, like this one says, Uranus is an ice giant.、Um, it's made up of hot, dense fluid of icy materials and so on. And this one tells us it orbits the sun, and it's the seventh planet from the sun at a distance of about、uh, how many kilo、uh, kilometers and so on. And Right, and then、um, we can see this is our character, the、uh, Uranian, with this carrying this golden record, and on 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 his right we can see four buttons. The first three buttons will take us to three of、uh, the moons of Uranus, which are、uh, Oberon, Titania, and、uh, Puck. And the fourth button will take us to、um, some notes. So right, let's go to、uh, the first moon, Oberon. And here we can see、uh, that、um, the character is wearing military、uh, uniforms, and he says that、um, Oberon is the military base of、uh, Uranus. But、um, there isn't really any war in here, so he just the planet. He's just protecting the planet from. I mean, the moon is just just protecting、uh, Uranus from being attacked by、uh, comets and、um, asteroids. Um, right, and on the left we can see a grid. A grid of sixteen、uh, letters, an errata. A radar, right? And we can see these flashing little flashing、um, dots, which are becoming bigger this time. These are comets and asteroids. So the thing about this is that、um, you need to press a corresponding button, depending on the location of the location of this of the、uh, dots on the grid. And then、um, the comet or asteroid will be removed. And when th these things are becoming bigger, because this, this, they're supposed to be approaching the planet, and when they are too close to, to be destroyed, first they will flicker as a warning sign, and then they will just、um, become、uh, unremovable. So we can see the white stroke around. The red dot, meaning it's now unremovable. So, and、um, a message will appear on screen telling us that it's now emergency state. But we can press enter to launch Superlizer. So we press enter, and it's all. It, we, we've removed it all.
so yeah like now in B in 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 B we can see two uh, dots so if we press B they all disappear like the way it goes I think that's enough for uh, Oberon so let's go to the second planet uh, the second moon which is um, Titania so this is um, a practice of um, the recursion as well as uh, particle systems so here we can see four trees which are um, drawn using uh, the recursion methods and rep uh, representing the four seasons of the moon and if we hold down the left key we can see little particles appearing so right and uh, we can see the characters now in a gardening suit and he says that Titania is his farmland so he feeds on fruits and yes we have already figured out how to harvest the fruit okay and then let's go to the third moon which is Puck. Puck is a really small uh, small moon and we can see he's, uh, the character is now in kind of uh, an artistic suit and uh, he says Puck is his art studio it's um, yes it's we can see that um, it's made out of four canvases and in the first canvas it says start here so we try to hold down the left key and draw something here and we can see that things are appearing in all uh, three other canvases with a different orientation and color So yeah, that's the special canvas that we're talking about. And if we were not happy with this, we can just press enter to clean the canvas and we um, start again. Yes, and that's it. That's that's pack. And finally, let's go to the last last scene which is the notes here we can see in the background is a video of uh, the, the solar system i think um or the milky way i don't quite remember um right and in the foreground we can see a letter from um from the character from the uh uranium telling us that um, he tried to catch the attention of Voyager 2 but failed so he had to write um, a letter, a message to get to us and then he talks about um, the three moons and, and he has, uh, the, the Uranus has, I don't know, 17 moons or maybe more it's on the first, first scene but he's just introducing three of them to us. Right, and then he invites us to pay him a visit. And here we can see the golden record. If I press, if, if we press it, we go back to the first scene where we can find out how many, how many um, moons Uranus actually has. So, the sun it orbits the sun, yes it, it has 27 moons right so yeah that's it um, I'm sorry I can't upload it um, to the web to open processing or websites like that because um, there are too many uh, bitmaps in there and it's kind of a pain to, uh, but I hope this video will give you a general idea of uh, what this project is about and how these interactive uh, environments work. So uh, thank you for watching.